Hi, so I have for you something really cool. These are 14 social media icons that you can download for free. Now, I'm in, I have included uh, 14 of the most popular social media platforms. And what you can do with these icons is you can, you can use them in uh, any kind of video editing app that supports transparency. So for example, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this in After Effects. I'm going to use this in Premiere Pro. Quickly show you again what you get. So we have here uh, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, and a lot of others. So uh, how, how, do, how, how do you use these? Well, all you got to do is uh, make sure that you download the the package so this is in a video package you make sure that you download it it's the download link will be beneath this video so go ahead while while we're speaking let's let's go ahead and download that that package okay and after that let me show you what you're gonna get so you're gonna find two folders there you, one of them will be the gif folder and the other one will be the mov folder okay so uh, then let's fire up uh, which one which one powerpoint premiere pro after effects you know what i'm going to start with adobe after effects just because i love this app the most adobe after effects and just know that you can use these icons in any uh, video editing app that supports transparency uh, but to save time i'm going to show you how to use this in just a couple of apps that i'm also very familiar with okay so i'm gonna build quickly a new project and let's just take all of the mov files and uh, just drag and drop them to our timeline boom okay let's make a new composition here that's good boom and uh, i'm gonna make a new layer i'm gonna make a nice background okay you know those gray backgrounds that ah you let me show you what effect i use for that so i'm gonna go to effects and there's something called a radial what's a, a ramp it's a ramp ramp gradient ramp Okay, so this is what I do. I change the from line, line, linear ramp to radial ramp, and I also switch up the colors. So I want here black, and here I want. So we switch these colors up. Let's make it not so dark, like like this. Okay, just a little darker, and I'm gonna just look. I click on this thing, and I I just move it up. Okay, so you see, it's not white, it's not gray, it's, it, it has a nice look to it. And now it's time to just add our stuff, add the things that we have here. So what we're going to start with, let's add uh, Instagram. Okay, I'm going to just zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, and here we can see uh, the Instagram app icon. Now, what's really cool about these is that you also have sound. So let's see, I'm going to turn up my volume. Bam, bam, bam. So it's pretty cool. And um, let's see. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Now, I think the most useful way of using this is by making it a little bit smaller. And you can stick this at the end of your videos. You put these icons. So for example, what I would use most of the time is, uh, let's, say, let's say, Instagram and uh, Facebook. Okay, where's Facebook? Facebook, boom. Okay, so def definitely most of you will have a Facebook page or Facebook account or Instagram page and so on. So what you want to do uh, is at the end of your videos, you often say, okay, um, subscribe to my Facebook, subscribe to my LinkedIn, subscribe to my Instagram. And there's, there's a good opportunity to uh, just... Uh, direct people to subscribe to your Instagram account. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick text layer. Let's call it uh, dot com slash uh, blue FX. I think this is our Instagram account, but I might be wrong. And we have no time to check it right now. Okay, I'm going to just select a nice font. 
make it smaller boom 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 like this and uh, let's move it okay that's good now all you've got to do is also make the, uh, the text appear at the same at the right time okay so what I like to do I'm gonna just use something called a preset let me show you in After Effects you have some really cool text presets so go to effects and presets and there you have animation presets and then open up the text animation preset thingy and then open up uh, the animate in and here you can select uh, there are many many uh, options that you can use but I'm gonna just use this fade up by character okay so let's see I dragged it so you can select your layer your text layer and just double click on it and uh, or, or just drag this effect on it okay so let's select it I'm gonna go to to, to the effects panel actually I'm not gonna go to the effects panel <laughs> click the U push the U button twice U U boom 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 and now what you see here is a bunch of stuff that you don't have to deal with and you see two keyframes now you can just move these keyframes around and you see the text animates uh, according to these two keyframes okay so let's see yeah, of course we want this to appear faster I want first the Instagram to appear Instagram well actually yeah let's see Oh, that's good okay let's make this move faster okay perfect I think this looks good so now we want to add some animation to the Facebook text okay Facebook fade up by character hit the U U on your keyboard or just you can actually just open this up and you'll see the keyframes right here all right but for that you need to turn this uh, open and then this open so I'm I much led rather like to use the UU key okay and it opens things up and I can just move it around bum 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 like this a little bit too fast but you get the point so at this point I could add another one and so on but this is how you use it so in After Effects it's really simple um, you just drag and drop these icons these animations and uh, yeah they work boom 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 and there you have a quick trick for me with the text animation and then by the way these animations also have sound effects as I mentioned and they also have an in and an out animation so let's take a look in boom and the out animation okay so that's all for After Effects we are done with After Effects so let's open up uh, which one Premiere Pro okay so I'm gonna just drag and drop the icons the MOV files into Premiere Pro good so now you can see the animations and uh, you want to set up your timeline your sequence let's see I'm gonna just type this in 120 by this is good snapchat it says this clip doesn't match the sequence settings change the settings of the sequence or the or, ke or keep it the same well we can keep the existing settings okay boom looks good now what you can do at this point of obviously is this is and this is too much I mean too big so let's make it smaller I'm gonna just scale this down scale this down like this Bong. okay and uh, when you want to move stuff around in Premiere Pro you have to click on this position position parameter and do it that way okay so I'm just realizing that I have set up a completely strange uh, resolution here so uh, let's do, go back to sequence settings and uh, square pixels and click OK so so to add the background image I like to do this go to graphics and 
make sure that you select you're selecting your uh, composition your 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 uh, timeline here and go to graphics click on new layer and click on rectangle okay let's make this one big so it fills all the screen and then you click on the effects panel on the shape settings click on fill and here you can uh, you click on radiant gradient radial gradient and just play with the colors a little bit like this i think this is gonna look good no it doesn't <laughs> let's let's move around some stuff here all right so well what you need to do at this point is uh change some of the colors because i want the brights to be on the other side okay let's see okay now it's better but i i've moved out of the frame the yeah now it's good you see this is the middle of the of the, the this is the brightest spot on the um, radiant and i can on of the gradient and now i've put it to the right place okay so let's make this longer and let's put the snapchat icon above it okay so let's see yeah pretty simple pretty good let's, i'm gonna make this a little bit smaller okay and we're gonna add a text okay so let's go ahead and make a new text layer and let's see uh, chat.com slash uh, slash blue effects i don't have officially i don't have an official snapchat account at this point but i should make one so let's make it like this snap that chat boom okay so what we got to do now is just animate the text okay so to animate the text i want to use something very simple and quick um, there is something called if you go to the effects panel and click on the effects tab you can write in uh wipe it's called i think it's called line, linear wipe okay and just add it to the text layer boom like that and now we have our linear wipe effect okay so let's see how does this work uh, we have something called transition completion okay and we have also something called angle now i want this angle to be i want i want to change the angle basically i'm gonna write in minus 90 and with that we're gonna actually let's 180 if i write in well no minus 90 and we're gonna animate it this way so it's gonna be at this point where it starts okay we're gonna move out a little bit and uh, let's see where the animation ends somewhere here okay and we're gonna add another keyframe and it's already added now let's see how this looks good let's just move the entire layer a little bit closer i think this looks good now you can also of course just uh, add a little bit of feather here let me show you what does that do you see if we add some feather it's gonna look smoother when but I, I liked it even without the feather so this is this is a very simple way to end your videos of course you would want to add uh, not just one um, one icon you you're probably gonna be using multiple social media uh, web websites platforms maybe Facebook Instagram snapchat uh, LinkedIn and so on and it's really useful to just add these kind of um, contact points at the end of your video right you want to make sure that people follow you on all these channels because of course you can communicate with them more easily okay with that being said 
we're done with um, Adobe Premiere Pro. If you want to export the video, of course, you probably know this, but all you got to do is go to File, go to Export, and then click on Media. Okay, so awesome. Thanks for watching, and remember to download these packages, download these icons, and give me a comment, give me a like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, if you have some suggestions, I'm all ears. Write it in the comments.